On behalf of the leaders of our nation, the people of Samoa, and Worship Center Christian Church Worldwide, I'm here to be able to represent our nation so that we can honor this great man of God, a great ambassador of Jesus Christ and a great evangelist, and pay respect and say, well done, because you're going to hear a testimony of how God used Bill Zabriskie to restore our nation back to God and change the spiritual climax of Samoa since 1992. 1990 and 1991, two cyclones hit our people and our land and destroy our environment. Samoa at that time is like a war zone. No more green grass. The mountain is just turned brown because of the salt of the sea and because of the power of this cyclone. I remember New Zealand helped <clears throat> sending millions to help our country. Australia, New Zealand, Japan, even the United States sent helicopter to bring food to help our people. At that time, I see our people being depressed, suffer. So many questions in their mind. Why is this? What happened? Taro plight came to our land. It's one of our main food. No more taro, just rice. To accompany the people at the time and to help the devastation that this cyclone have done to our people and to our land. And then we decided, because even like spiritual atmosphere it's like darkness all over the country and all over the land. So we decided to host a crusade for Samoa in 1992. And the Lord gave us Bill Zabriskie to be the main speaker of that crusade. And we organized the crusade in Apia Park Stadium for three nights. I asked the Prime Minister, he's a good friend of mine, the former one, his name is Tofilau. Please, I have invited an evangelist from New Zealand. Will you please open the VIP for his arrival and his departure? The Prime Minister said, it's done. Let him come through the VIP. And I asked him to come to the crusade. He said to me, William, I won't be there for the first night but I will be there for the second night. <clears throat> and the second night I saw the Prime Minister, police car pulled in, and he had members of parliament and members of this cabinet. And they walk out to the center uh, stadium in Apia Park. And Bill Sapriski was so on fire that night. He was speaking about if my people who call by my name will turn from their wicked way and seek God's face, and the Lord said, I will heal, I will forgive, and I will heal your land. The end of the message when he gave the altar call, I saw a prime minister walk down. And the members of cabinet and also members of parliament. They walked down and we came right in the front of the stage where Bill was standing. And when Bill said, you kneel down, I thought, oh my goodness, <laughs> the prime minister's gonna kneel down. Oh, he did, he knelt down. And you know, Bill, he has a long prayer. <laughs> he doesn't care who you are. When he is on fire for God, he was just go with the flow. And I was so concerned about our prime minister. 
because he's a, he's a big man. And he is kneeling on the gravel. So I decided to pull a chair. And I walked towards him. And I said, Prime Minister, I think it's too long. You can sit on this chair. You know what he said to me? No, William, if this is what the Lord wants me to do, that's okay. And after, he followed the prayer. And there was a night he accepted the Lord and his members of parliament and cabinet for their personal savior. And after that crusade, he talked to the head of state because he was so convicted. Why these two cyclones? Because we have sinned against God. Because we, we only have a lip service. We just declare we are founded on God, but it's only lip service. No more reality. And he agreed with the head of state, and head of state signed the declaration that we are sin against God. It's about time for our nation to come into prayer and fasting, <clears throat> asking God to forgive some more. And I was there that night <clears throat> that we have done that before God. And the, our prime minister was praying on behalf of the nation. Tears running down. You can feel the atmosphere of God's grace. And that from that night, the whole country is being turned by God. And he visited four times to Samoa. And every time he came, he spoke about the power of God the blessing of the Lord and the restoration. Our nation now is being blessed and our nation is now being a leading island to the Pacific Islands about development and also financial. Why? Because this is the answer of God when a nation repent. And because Bill Suprisky was used by God to bring that restoration, and to bring our country back to where they should, they, where they belong. Because we are founded on God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he came and continued to preach on the power of the Holy Spirit. And cast out demons like myself. I can't remember. I walk in to talk about the program starting the night. But he said to me, brother, there's a demon on your life. I said, What? Come here, come here. He's been harassing you. So I said, okay, okay. So he came to my back. And he just commanded that demon that I don't have to tell you. <laughs> and I felt that something was on my shoulder, was lifting in. And, 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 and I felt so light. And he said to me, that is a demon from your ancestral line. And that was my introduction to deliverance ministry. Since then, I continue to do deliverance to all around our country because of this man of God and this great man of God. So tonight, I will say thank you, God, for Bill. Thank you for allowing him to come. And thank you for a great example. Now he's gone. He said to me in, the, in, the, in his birthday, I'm coming to Samoa this year. But now God said, no, you're coming home this year. So we celebrate and we thank God for Bill. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be honored and be glorified for such a great man. God bless.